Alrighty team, today's workout, we have a bit of running to do. We're gonna warm up with a 50 meter jog, a slow walk back as a recovery, into a 100 meter jog, a walk back again, into a 200 meter jog, and then walk back. We're gonna do two rounds of that. I want you to increase the pace on the second round. So it's a pretty cruisy start, okay? It's just slowly building that heart rate up. Then on your second round, we will build it up a little bit more, okay? Get that heart rate firing by the time you finish your second round, right? If you need to scale or change up any of these numbers, make the distance a little bit shorter to suit your ability, that is fine. Maybe it's a walk, jog, walk, jog, something like that. They're your options. Our workout today, we have three three-round workouts. We have three rounds of a 200 meter run, 20 air squats, and 10 hand release push-ups. We're gonna rest three minutes, then we're gonna go into three rounds of 200 meter run, 20 air squats, 10 push-ups. Rest three minutes. Then we've got three rounds of 200 meter run, 20 air squats, and 10 pike push-ups. The idea behind this workout today, team, is that your push-ups variations get easier as we go. So your hand release push-ups, the hardest one, you have gotta get that chest to the floor, hands up off the floor, and then push up. 10 of those, once you've done three rounds there, I'm sure them shoulders are gonna be fired up. After you rest, you're into 10 push-ups, so just normal push-ups. Three rounds of that, and then into your pike push-ups, so all those polar bear press, hips nice and high, and more of an overhead press, something a little bit easier to finish off with. If you need to scale these, we need to find your hardest regression possible, and then uh, make it easier as we go. Okay, so if you can't do a hand release push up, those hand release push ups can be on your knees as well. So if you're able to get that chest to the floor, do the hand release and push up, awesome. If that's not an option, if you're still um, struggling with push ups on your knees, let's uh, maybe that's your starting point is your know, push ups on your knees. Then our next round, we go to some incline push ups so onto a bench, and then we finish off with those pike push ups. Um, with that overhead press. So, idea is make those scaling options, whatever it is, your first round or your first three rounds is the hardest option, then find something a little bit easier to do in that second round and then finish off with these pike push-ups or some form of overhead press. If you find the pike push-ups too much, maybe then it's a light weight or a bag or something overhead for that overhead press to finish off. Our accessory work today is gonna to be all core work we've got. 10 V-ups, 10 sit-ups, 10 crunches. Similar to this, our workout, main workout, it starts from hardest to easiest. So 10 V-ups, they're gonna be the hardest. You do 10 sit-ups, which is a little bit easier, finishing off with 10 crunches. Again, if you need to scale these, if you can't do a full sit-up or you can't do a V-up, we're gonna do some single leg V-ups, throwing them arms across into 10 sit-ups. Again, if you're, you struggle with a sit-up to do a full sit-up, then we'll scale that back to crunches. For your crunches, we're not just gonna do another set of 10 crunches, let's come up, bring them shoulders up, maybe into 20 heel taps, something like that, to get that, uh, to get that uh, adjustment in there. We're gonna do four rounds of this one. We're gonna rest 30 to 60 seconds, whatever you feel like you need between each round, okay? 